Hello, this is Dr. Kamani, licensed clinical psychologist, and I'm here to talk about why I talk about Black women and toxic jobs so much. So if you have not already subscribed to my channel on YouTube, please do so, Lifting Us With Climb Consulting Wellness Services. And at the time of this recording, um, yesterday, when I'm recording this, yesterday was the anniversary, my liberation anniversary from resigning from the most toxic job that I ever had. So um, I wanted to just take a moment, you know, to just honor that yesterday. And I went to a garden and um, it was really an opportunity for me to reflect on how far I've come and to be in a garden and recognize and remember that, you know, when I left that toxic job and I resigned, I was releasing the weeds, okay? I was releasing the weeds and calling in the beauty in my life. And my hope is that you are doing that for yourself as well, okay? So I've talked, you know, over the course of this year on my YouTube channel about my healing journey. And Stephanie Perry interviewed me um, at length, as well as Glenn Mazzini, about my um, experiences in a previous toxic job. And I don't talk about it at length many times because it is traumatic, okay? So For me, okay? So... Um, if you want to see that video in terms of Stephanie Perry or Glenn Mazzini interviewing me about my experience in a toxic job, I will put that information in the description section of YouTube, okay? But I just want to give you just a Cliff Notes version of the top 10 reasons of why I talk about Black women in toxic jobs. Why do I do this? I, you, you see me, all these videos that I have. And, you know, the other day I was getting my head about it in terms of um, I was thinking to myself, am I doing too many videos? I don't know. Am I doing too many? Am I talking about it too much? And I had um, a consultation call and the woman I was talking to was saying how much she appreciated my videos. And she said, I need for you to keep doing these videos. And I said, you know what? I was just thinking today, I was questioning if I'm doing too many videos. And she's like, no, girl, I'm looking forward to your videos every day. So I've heard not only from her, but from many other Black women. So that is one reason why I keep doing it is that other Black women are reaching out to me and asking me to continue to have these conversations because we're not having them enough, okay? So I have some notes in terms of identifying my top 10 reasons why I talk about Black women and toxic jobs. And well, I'll continue to talk about it, okay? As long as there's a need for that to happen. So number one is that the literature notes that Black women have higher rates of experiencing negative work environments, okay? So there's a lot of things that we experience in the workplace, racism, sexism, all those different things. And we think about intersectionality intersectionality, which Kimberly Crenshaw talks about, that's our experience many times in the workplace. So you've seen research, you may have heard of research about, you know, capturing the experiences of people within the workplace. You may have even heard about, you know, imposter phenomena for women. Um, in some ways it might relate to Black women, but in some ways it may not, because as Black women, we already are coming into the workplace many times overqualified. We know that Black women are the most educated in the nation, okay? Um, and many times because we have been taught growing up that we have to work twice as hard to get half as much, when we come into a workplace, many times we have this um, awareness of our greatness. We, we know we're working with when we come into the workplace. So a lot of times we're not inherently insecure about our, our abilities most of us. However, people might treat us in a certain way that causes us to feel discomfort in the workplace. So because we might present it as confident, present as confident that other people might perceive us as, um, and it, I'll just say in a negative light, okay? So they might see us in a negative light. They might say we're intimidating, but they may be intimidated by us because of how we present, okay? So again, number one is that research shows that Black women have higher rates of experiencing negative work experiences, right? Okay. Number two is uh, research from the American Heart Association notes that Black women, um, that we're now dying at earlier ages, 
and that we're developing cardiovascular disease earlier, and we're very much impacted by external issues impacting our physical health. So in terms of racism, sexism, external issues, stressors, such as a toxic job. So again, when I talk about these issues, I, I really frame it in the sense that it's important for us to be mindful of how we're impacted in a job because it can have very serious negative side effects for us, okay? So that's number two. Number three is um, when we think about all these external factors, you know, just being a Black woman in America or being a Black woman anywhere, you know, we have to deal with so much stress on a day-to-day -day basis. So when you think about the stress that we deal with just on an ongoing basis, just being out in the world, combined with being in the workplace, all those external issues can have a negative impact on us. Number four, flat out, we're just not talking about it enough. So I'm talking about it. I know other Black women have talked about it, like Dr. Kira Yazid, Minda Hartz, uh, different Black women have talked about it, but enough of us or enough attention has not been given to this topic. So not only in terms of what our experiences are in the workplace, but also the impact on us. And my hope is the more I talk about this, the more Black women um, recognize the need to pitch the signs, that they recognize that they can get out of a toxic job and still do well. They can move on to something else and get another job. They can start their own business and or both, okay? So there's other opportunities available to you that you can leave and you can take those skills and talents you've had at that job and take it somewhere else, okay? So again, we're not talking about it enough. So there's not enough research, not enough conversation about it. And I think that's why so many Black women are reaching out to me to tell me thank you, because we're not talking about it enough. And when I think about how many Black women I've talked to in relation to this YouTube channel, I've talked to Black women around the world and they have similar experiences. It's very concerning, okay? So again, we need to talk about it more. Number five, I was raised by parents that taught me to speak up and speak out about things that are wrong. So I have tried sometimes to silence myself when I see things or um, when people have warned me um, that if I say something in the workplace that there will be negative consequences. And I have tried and I, I, couldn't, I couldn't help myself, okay? Because that's how I was raised. I was raised to speak up and speak out. Both of my parents, very assertive people. Um, and so they taught that for me too. And it's even as a little girl, I would speak up and speak out about things. So I could not allow a job to silence me because that's not how I was brought up. I, was, I wasn't brought up that way, okay? And I know that silencing is a form of oppression, okay? Number six is our ancestors have gone through way too much. They've gone through so much. They've sacrificed. They have lost their lives. They have done so much for all of us to be here. And so in honor of them, I don't want any Black woman to be exploited for their labor and to feel such profound disrespect and unhappiness and mistreatment in the workplace, okay? I, I, I think that that's an honor of our ancestors and all they went through, okay? Number seven, my heroes are Harriet Tubman, the Underground Railroad and the Conductor, and Fannie Lou Hamer, sick and tired of being sick and tired. So both of these women had so many things that they had to uh, confront and fight, but they did it. They, and they continued to fight. And not only did they fight in terms of being vocal, so speaking up and speaking out, but they also did something that I hold in my spirit is that they lifted other Black people as they were climbing forward too. So hence my business name, Lifting As We Climb Consulting. 
water services. So they lifted and I am lifting too. I'm lifting any black woman who is ready to leave a toxic job. I want you to see me. I want you to see the other black women that I have on my YouTube channel. And you know that you can do it too. You can heal. You can lead. All these things. You can do that. Okay. And you can live a better life. Okay. So I'm channeling my inner Harriet and my inner Fannie Lou Hamer too. So I was sick and tired of being sick and tired at a job that was harming me. So I decided to leave. Okay. So again, those are my sheroes. Number eight, as a proud Spelman alumna, I have a commitment and I strongly believe and I love sisterhood. So I'm going to reach out to as many Black women as I can. The benefit is that I may not be able to know you personally, but you can see me. You can you can hear my message through YouTube, okay? I have other resources for you, resources for you too, but YouTube, anybody can see me. Any Black woman can see me, okay? And hopefully you are learning and healing from the messages that I'm giving you, okay? Um, number nine. I'm inspired by the courageous Black women such as Dina Simmons, Dr. Nadia Lopez, my Spelman sister, Dr. Monica Cox, as they are vo vocal and talking about their own healing journeys and what they have gone through in toxic workplaces. So I'm inspired by them as I see what they have done. Then it gives me um, courage to also share my story because I know by learning about their stories, by following the work of Dr. Carrie Azeed, Minda Hartz, that I am getting stronger, that I'm healing as a result of them sharing their story. And again, my hope is that you are healing by hearing my story as well, okay? Um, and as a licensed clinical psychologist, that's number 10. So as a licensed clinical psychologist who is also a toxic job survivor, I know what it's like. I know what it's like, what it feels like, what it feels like to dread waking up, what it feels like dreading walking to work, oh, sorry, driving to work and walking into work. I know that feeling. I know that feeling of masking all day at work. I'm dying inside and I'm masking all day at work. I know what it's like to be disrespected and devalued and people trying to put you in your place. I know all of that, okay? And as a licensed clinical psychologist, I understand how negative work environments can impact you psychologically, okay? So I've been there in terms of my own experience, and also I understand it as a clinical psychologist. So my work with Black women is to really help Black women understand not only the signs that they're being harmed in a toxic job, but also to talk about what their options might be. Because when you're in a toxic job, often it feels like it's, it's a traumatic experience. So it's a form of workplace trauma. And when you're in a workplace trauma, it can feel like other traumas. It can feel like there's no way out. You have no options. So that is another reason why I talk so much about Black women in toxic jobs. Because I want you to know you do have options. You are not stuck. Even though you may feel stuck, you are not stuck. So again, my YouTube channel is a way for me to share information with you about not only my healing journey, the healing journeys of other Black women, but I also have other resources that I want to share with you because I want you to be well. I want you to recognize for yourself what is it that you need for yourself and you get that, okay? So again, I've talked about my YouTube channel. I've talked about um, therapy. Um, so therapy will help you process a lot of these very painful experiences that you've had in the workplace and or other experiences in your life. Because what you may find is that when you're in a toxic job, there might be things in the toxic job that remind you of other traumas in your life. And that's what makes it very difficult because now the job may in many ways be a trauma trigger for you, okay? So therapy, I have a video that talks about how to find a Black therapist. I know many times as Black people, we want to work with someone who looks like us, but similar lived experiences. So I have that information 
Also in the description section, I have information about accessing free therapy services for Black women. So the Loveland Foundation and the Boris Lawrence Henson Foundation, you can access that information again. You will contact them and let them know you're looking for a Black therapist and go through that process with them. So those are resources for you. Coaching. So as I mentioned before, Anne-Marie Archer, the anti-HRHR lady, has a Black Women's Coach Directory, which again will be in the description section. And then the masterclass that I just did with Anne-Marie, you will be able to access the replay. So the masterclass is Save Yourself. Channel your inner Harriet so you can leave that toxic, hostile job with your sanity in your coins. So this is a collaboration between S. Amory Archer, who is the anti-HR-HR lady, who is also an HR consultant and um, an attorney. So she and I are collaborating or did collaborate on this masterclass about what are the ways that you can address and start healing from the psychological trauma of the workplace in terms of confronting your fears and going through that process, you can clear that psychological baggage that you may have so that you're in a better position to really look at your options and start exit planning, okay? So those are things we cover in the masterclass. And Anne-Marie covers the HR part in terms of documentation. She gives you actual templates. I learned a lot from her in the masterclass myself. So in terms of templates of what you can use, in terms of communicating with your job, and she gives you tips in terms of um, things to, to be aware of, okay? Um, and also in terms of language to use if you are trying to negotiate, you know, getting your coins before you leave a job, okay? So access that. You can access the, the replay by clicking the link in the description section too, okay? So again, I just want to tell you why. You know, you may have heard tidbits or maybe figured out a little bit about why I've talked so much about it, but I just wanted to lay it all out for you, okay? Why I am so committed to helping Black women leave and heal from toxic jobs because I've been there and I don't want you to be there. If you're there, I want you to get out if you can. If you're ready to go, I want to help support you in getting out and healing. As I've said too in my videos, it's very hard to heal in the same environment that is harming you. So you can start the healing journey, you know, as you are exiting out. Okay. And the masterclass can help with that. Therapy can help with that. Coaching can help with that in different ways. Okay. But the true healing really starts once you leave the toxic job. Okay. So again, I just want to come on and tell you. My why, this is the why I do this work and why I will continue to do this work as long as I have Black women reaching out to me and asking me to please share more videos. And that is what I'll do, okay? So if you have any um, topics that you would like for me to cover in relation to healing, leaving from a toxic job, anything like that, just put that in the comment section, okay? And also give this video a thumbs up. As you're watching this, give this video a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know to suggest this video to other people who are watching this video. So other Black women who might be watching similar content, um, it lets YouTube know to suggest this video. And also share this video with another Black woman. So again, my company, my business name is Lifting As We Climb Consulting. And I invite you to also lift. So lift yourself first. So save yourself first. And then I ask you to please lift back and help support the healing of other Black women as well. Okay? So again, thank you for tuning in. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to this channel, Lifting Us with Climb Consulting, Wellness Services. Also, again, give this a thumbs up and share this video with another Black woman. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.